international workshops are part of our work in our work package, where we look at how socially engaged art can be a facilitator of social change, specifically then focusing on the issues related to the digital transformation. And the workshops themselves, it's an opportunity for us to try out and work with artists themselves to understand ourselves and have a discussion about what role the arts can play in this change and, and experience it and kind of prototype the experience ourselves. So in these workshops we are basically focusing with different groups of artists uh, and we are interested in see how they engage uh, through their artistic practices with people. We are trying to find different kind of artists that are working in, in, in Europe. I mean, it depends mostly on, on, on the, the way how they, they do their practice, right? So some of them are more into engaging with people through workshops. Others are uh, interested on, for example, uh, different aspects of the digital transformation. That's another thing that we are trying to find out. Focus areas of our work is to also look at people who are slightly marginalized in terms of the digital transformation, so where um, they are uh, excluded uh, in some ways. There is a tendency for, for certain groups of people to be included uh, in the design and uh, development of uh, digital technologies. And then certain groups of people are kind of left behind, uh, not always knowing that they're left behind either. So we're trying to work with artists who have this as a perspective as well. So the people coming to the workshop today, it's a mix of people, which we also find is super interesting. Uh, so you both have uh, the artists themselves. Uh, you have uh, a group of people who they work with from a market in Palermo who are coming to the workshop. You have students coming to the workshop and, and some international researchers. So it's quite an interesting mix. Uh, so it's going to be interesting to also see the dialogue arising in, in you know, the conversations that we're going to have today. I think we chose Palermo and Sicily because it's basically the doors to different kind of groups of people. Uh, for example, considering uh, immigrants that are basically arriving first to Sicily and then go to Europe and spread around Europe. But at the same time, uh, here you can find a city that is quite artistic and there is a, a lot of cultural activity in Sicily and Palermo being its, its uh, main city. It's a great opportunity to, to find uh, different kind of groups of people here that meet at the same place, at the same city. I think that's, uh, that's the reason why we chose to be in Sicily. We were super lucky to get the opportunity to work with um, Studio Betsoma for this workshop and also become part of the program between Land and Sea Festival. Um, which for us, of course, is a big advantage because um, as we're not locals here, we don't have immediate access to the local context. And here uh, we've been working with some excellent people who can help facilitate and build bridge so we can get access. But most of all, what's important for us is that we also get an opportunity to invite others into the dialogue together with the artists who we're speaking to and in dialogue with. Yeah. Maybe also that usually they tend to think that since we come from the north, we are bringing solutions, right? But we are not. We are coming to actually understand, see different perspectives and basically be the listeners and, and uh, try to gather uh, different opinions on how uh, the social engaged arts is happening in the Southern Europe and how this can contribute in general uh, to, to our work and to what uh, we should aim for in Europe.